Hey, Josh, I'm here, Tactical Combat Academy, Mixed Martial Arts, Head Instructor. Begin some emails lately about spinning back fists. You see it a lot in MMA. Some guys throw like a crazy version. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you throw it in the mist and uh, the guy can counter it. So we're going to kind of troubleshoot it and show you how it's supposed to be thrown properly. Okay. A lot of guys, what they do, first they'll just go like this. They'll be here. They'll just kind of go like this and come spinning around. And they're basically just hoping that the punch hits something. They don't really have any idea where it's going. And one of the biggest problems that people do or fighters do is they arc it too far, meaning they'll come here and their arms are already out and it takes a longer circumference to travel around and get to the target. And if the guy's any good, number one, he'll either move away or number two, he'll throw a counter right. So if he goes like this, he'll throw the counter right and he'll catch it. In 1999, I believe it was, I was fighting Chief Fight MMA and I threw a spinning back fist kind of crazy, got a little wild with it, and the guy threw a counter right, caught me on the chin and dropped me with it. So uh, not only do I know how it's supposed to be done, I know what happens when you don't throw it correctly. So we're going to try to fix that a little bit. So from here, one of the first things we have to do is get our hips to turn a little bit. So I'm going to take my left foot and kind of come right here. Uh, you'll see some guys step way over, but the problem with that, then this guy will smell what I got cooking. He'll know something's up and then he'll start to move right away. So if he sees me step that far, he'll move, see, then he's gone. He's not going to stick around. So what I want to do, I want to make the movement similar to what I naturally do. So all I'm going to do now is step right here like I'd be stepping on a jab, okay? That way if I step, I can circle off and still strike. But for the spinning back fist, what I'm going to do, I'm going to step right to here so my hips can turn. I'm going to lead with my elbow, not my hand. So from here, my elbow is going to lead. You can see I'm almost around, and the circumference of that circle is much tighter, and I'm getting to the target quicker without him knowing what's going on. The other good thing with that is when I spin and I'm here, my shoulder is high, my elbow is protecting my face. If he would try to throw something, he has to walk in the elbow, and I can still land my uh, spinning back fist. So now to put the actual back fist in, saying you didn't jam it or you didn't counter it, I'm just going to go like this. I'll do a regular speed first. A little bit slower. I'm going to step. I still have my left high. I torque my hips. I come around with the elbow. And right here, it's going to extend out, come back, and I can still strike. There are times when this person's going to lean back. So maybe I throw and I come around and he leans back. Then I'm just going to come through and I still have my left loaded to go. Once you get that down, obviously you can't really throw it by itself um, because there's no, there's no setup. Everything has to be set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a jab in front of it now. So now I'm here, I jab, bring my hand back, torque, throw my spinning back fist. Regular speed. come back around the strike. Once you get that down, obviously you can set it up off the one, the two, I could go three, come back on the one, and let it fly, okay? Just to change the angles a little bit so you can see the arc motion. There, here for me. You can see when I'm coming through, I don't want to step too far, I'm just going right to here. When I step, I torque, I'm back around. Regular speed, with the one in front of it. Come back around. A good way to drill this with your partner is just to kind of go one for one. So I'll go here, I'll step, pivot, come around, and back. And then he's going to go. He'll step, pivot, come back around, and I'll go. And he'll go.
back and forth. Uh, one of the other things I, I think I see guys do wrong is they're also, the, when they step through, they're also pick this leg up. If this leg is being picked up, then you're losing power. Your, your body transfers weight from the ground to the hips and out to the target. So your power comes from the hips, but on everything, even on a knee, a strike, an elbow, a superman, everything has to transfer from the ground. So if I'm spinning and lifting this foot right now, I've lost power on that. That's why you don't want to do that. You want to load your hips. Right here, I'm loading coming back around. If he moves, I'm going to continue through. Then I'll continue through with my strike and continue on. I'll give you just a slightly different angle of it. Now we're here, you can see it uh, kind of from this side here. Again, come back around, and back around. What we're going to do now, we're going to show the spinning back fist in our MMA cage slash boxing ring, uh, how it adapts. Probably the most prominent now is John Bones Jones is on the scene throwing stuff from different angles. If you're not into just pure clinching and you want to put some pressure on the guy, spinning and you're more of a striker, spinning back fist is good because when you get him pressed on the cage, one thing you can't do is he can't go back, which means he can't get away from your spinning back fist. He's, he's going to be there. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm setting up my strikes and you know, maybe I was pressuring him back and I threw like a three and he backed to the cage. And I have him here. Maybe I'm in a clinch position and a landing shot. The good thing with this is he can't back up anymore, so he can't get away from it. He's going to have to go to his left or go to his right. So if I'm pressing in and I got to here, he's certainly not going to go to his left. He's going to go right. So I could try to cut him off, or I could just step through, spinning back this coming around. So now I'm going to work on the pressure and then setting that up. So I'm here. I use a three. Pressure him on the cage. Come back around. If you're in too close, um, you're always leading with your elbow on a spinning back fist. All you're doing then is, is extending it out, just on the, like on the earlier instructions that we used. So if he gets too close on the cage and I can't use the back fist, I'll use the spinning elbow. Same thing, same footwork, everything. So now I'm here, I use the three, and I pressure, go to the body. He tries to get out, use my spinning elbow, and come through, okay? Uh, if I did come through, and he used the three, and I pressure, use the elbows. If he comes back around the other way, I can use my left and come back with my right. So you can use both options. So once you get this down, learn to do it on both sides so you have options to do it with. The other one I can do is just pressure him on the cage right here, and we can be in this game, and I'm kind of cutting the ring off, and I shoot it now. And I'm still coming around with the same combination. Uh, still works. John Bones Jones, the one he uses, or a lot of guys, because I am so close, the spinning back fist might decrease, so it'll turn into a spinning elbow. The good thing is the spinning elbow is thrown the same identical way. You're leading with your elbow, now you're just closer, so there's no sense extending your hand. You just use the elbow. So if I was here and I came in with a three, pressure, going to the body from right here, there's my elbow coming around and you're continuing on. If he goes from here, if he was here and he goes back the other way, then I'm just coming again with the other hand. That's why it's good to learn on both sides uh, so you have options. It's kind of what a lot of, uh, lot of the hybrid guys are doing now. I actually learned this, uh, I like to give credit when it's due. Some of you old school guys, I learned it from Benny the Jet. It's been around for forever. I learned it from me in like 1993. So. Uh, anyway, if you got any more questions on it, shoot me an email, tcamma at live.com. Go to our website, which is tcamma.com. And uh, if you got any more questions on techniques, moves, uh, shoot us an email, and we'll put them on the two for you and try to help you out. Uh, thanks.